Hello and welcome to this Paychecks Bluecast on HR Pitfalls. First, a quick disclaimer. The content in this presentation is provided for informational purposes only and should not be construed as advice. Okay, in this short webinar, you'll learn about five common HR pitfalls for employers. You'll also discover some helpful ways to avoid these pitfalls and any ensuing risk for violations. And number one on the list is outdated job descriptions. Surprised? Many employers don't think of this as a risk, but an up-to-date description is really the whole foundation of the hiring process. It identifies a position's essential functions, as well as the knowledge, skills, and ability needed to perform the job. Now, here's where employers often get into trouble. They don't keep their job descriptions up to date, and this cripples their ability to hire the most qualified candidate and better manage employees. Take action by reviewing your current descriptions and make sure that all the required skills, experience, and physical requirements for a position are listed. Also, be sure and indicate all essential job functions. And don't forget to remove any job descriptions that are outdated and add new ones as needed. Okay, our next pitfall deals with Forms I-9 completion. And as you can see, under the Immigration Reform and Control Act, there are a number of steps that employers are required to take, and often miss. So to help you avoid complications in this area, always ask employees to complete Section 1 of the I-9 by the first day of employment for pay, but not before an accepted offer of employment. Require employees to provide proper documentation within three days of the first day of employment. And finally, retain I-9 forms separately from the personnel file. The third pitfall is the improper classification of employees as exempt or non-exempt. Familiarize yourself with the two types of classifications and the wage and hour requirements for each under the FLSA. This can be complicated, so it's a good idea to contact legal counsel whenever a position's classification is in question. Finally, review your classifications and make sure that employees in positions with similar job duties are classified the same way. A solid handbook is one of the most important tools for communicating company policies to employees. It's also your most critical piece of documentation in the event of an employee-related lawsuit. So employers who cobble a handbook together on their own are often putting themselves at risk. You can mitigate this risk by engaging a labor and employment attorney or reputable HR provider to review your handbook on an annual basis. Ensuring that your handbook accurately reflects all company policies in lay terminology and includes at-will disclaimers. And reviewing the contents of your handbook once a year at a minimum. Companies often spend much more time and money on recruiting than retaining workers. So here are some ways to retain valuable talent. Offer competitive benefits like flexible spending accounts that don't necessarily cost an arm and a leg. Create long-term career opportunities. Employees tend to stay with companies where they feel they can grow their careers. And finally, solicit feedback from employees so you can help facilitate proactive ways of resolving issues. Since businesses are juggling hundreds of moving parts every day, it's easy for them to fall prey to the five common HR pitfalls that we've reviewed today. To avoid needless risk of policy violations, make sure to review each pitfall once more and the recommended action steps. Well, we hope that you've enjoyed this Paychex Bluecast and invite you to peruse other helpful resources at Paychex Works. Visit paychex.com backslash W-O-R-X.